Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Mass Over Today. My name is Matthew, I am the director of the Flavorability Institute Partnerships, and I'm here with Dr. Chu. Very grateful to the Good morning. So, today we're going to talk about the flavorability. We're going to talk about what Mass does to increase student flavorability. So that when they graduate, they go out into the workforce and then ahead of the game, they better than the old graduates that are coming out there. And we know that's important because graduate employability is hard. It's always hard. So what do we do to ensure that our graduates have the age? Alright, so one of the things is this. In the every there are a lot of uh, skills that employers are looking for, and they're not the traditional sort of like academic skills. So here at Russell, we try to develop these new skills. And what we're really talking about is what we call 21st century skills. We are looking for, or employers are looking for, communication skills, creativity, and critical thinking. So here at Russell, that's what we talk to. Um, what does master do to get you right from the beginning of the joint foundation? What does master do to really nurture uh, communication, creativity, and critical thinking? From our patients. Right, so our main concern for the solution and the foundation is for the content to be able to adapt to the life of the city, what they are going to do. And also at the same time, we keep them as long as the knowledge necessary for them to be able to uh, study the keys in the movie. So we are focusing in very much on that. At the same time, also some of the skills that are necessary for them to learn the stuff. For example, we are talking about the animation skills, uh, working with the classmates in the Google, and also like the problems and solutions uh, based on problems in the lecture. They have to be they go to the street with all these skills and so at the same time they should be a bit more independent and they're going to be weak because the lecturers are expected. Certain things that they should find the answer or the solution to their problem in the degree process and in the part of the journey. So our condition is focusing very much on that. At the same time, they are going to be able to necessary skills like the digital, the digital skills and Okay, let's focus in a little bit more. Let's focus on presentation skills because when graduates get out of the workforce, at some point, probably within the first two months of them joining the company, they will be asked to give a presentation. Okay, to their supervisor, to their supervisor's boss, they're going to have to go oh, do some research, come back and say, these are my ideas. So let's just go through a little bit about how we Thank you. 
so different than those who are outside the middle of It's surprising how many for friends and people we know and don't have that skill. And it's probably one of the top five communication skills we need in the world. You're also going to ask me questions. You're also going to ask me questions. You're also going to ask me questions. You're going to have an answer. If you freeze up, you're in trouble. Okay, excellent. That's good to know. It's good to know. You're also being placed in the premium of mentoring communication skills in our students. So let's look at what you mentioned earlier, digital marketing. So digital skills, not just digital marketing, but there are these, all sorts of things out there. Why are they important to have them to in the students? Right, uh, is it just free? Well, you can see this. If you like my mother, you have to have a lot of people that will be with us right now. And you've got a guy on me and me and me. So if you are in the person that you can be that kind of thing, So we have to be able to uh, navigate and sneak uh, to uh, all those kind of things to rest of the education software, as well as the teaching information that we can provide on this kind of thing. So, uh, okay, but with the skills, I do have to be very concrete in a certain sense. And for the entire courses that we're talking about, the questions to be there is a process
something in your head, it's something that you've got to really build up your ability to be going on again and then get help and you can forget that and then doing it again. And that's why it's important to start as early as possible so that the time actually graduating down to the workforce, they have three, four, five years of really pulling and getting these skills down to a point where they don't need anything extra. And, and from the very beginning of the foundation to the graduation, NASA offers opportunities to learn, they offer opportunities to train, they offer opportunities to get cutting edge skills. Okay, that are really, it's what employers are looking for. Okay, well, thank you very much for your time, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. And uh, before we end, I have a message here. Right, so uh, let me get the house to them in my future. Let's see. Uh, okay, I like this, it's like a bit of a reverse as well. Okay, so what we do is, alright, we do all the traditional things we do for your career fairs, we do uh, employment talk. So we actually, we actually do a series of, of workshops so that students will basically learn how to do a CV, they'll learn how to do interview properly, they'll learn how to present themselves and get some security presence out there. Um, so that when we do meet with HR, we do get that interview, then we get the pressure. Okay, at the end of the day, that time of acquisition executive has probably interviewed, I don't know, maybe 10 to 20 other candidates, but it's the master grab that's going to be the impression. Uh, I would say also, you know, we do a lot, we do a lot to focus on networking so that students really have a good networking skills. There's a lot of opportunities in networking also. And we bring the industry onto campus. Okay, we have interesting talks, we have, we have people coming in and doing this stuff from, from a lot of companies to startups. I mean, there's, there's a lot of skills that are needed in startups that translate to every aspect of working life. So we really try to get you out there with an excellent internship placement program uh, because a really good internship uh, is like a, a crown <laughs> on your job status.
It just it, that doesn't exist anymore, if it ever did. Um, so employers are looking for people that can train themselves, they're looking for people that can not just solve problems, but find problems. And um, people go out there, they look at the situation and say, oh, I can see the problem, now they want a solution. Um, and that's all part of this learning mindset. Okay, you, you learn how to master, you learn how to learn, and you learn how to do it for yourself. This doesn't mean a lot, it means taking the initiative and learning more, and then when you run into a problem, that's when you go and you seek advice on the end of That kind of mindset that you have to do is something that really all employees look for. Okay, all right, thank you, Dr. Chu. It's been a pleasure. Thank you.